Hey gang, it's Ark. Welcome back to our long dark series, where we are attempting to survive forever in Pleasant Valley. Um, so in the last episode, we made it over here to Thompson's Crossing, where we will actually be doing this survival. Um, I do have a bit of frostbite risk. Um, I've taken all my clothes off to demonstrate some stuff in the last episode, so let's get all of that back on for right now. Um, we will eventually ditch our clothes permanently, but that's going to be in the sort of second half of the challenge where we ditch all of our non-renewables um, and try to survive from there. All right, I'm going to take this and leave it outside, and then we're just going to come back in here and do some work. Um, I want to get some more cloth. I want to um, harvest the gut off of here and get that curing. And I think I have... I either have another rabbit or another gut. Uh, actually, that might not be accurate. No, I think this is the only one I have right now because... Yeah, we left five at the barn. And so this is the sixth one. Um, I'd like to go and get a couple more. Um, I'm trying to think where would be the best place to do that. Well, there was one more rabbit out there. Let's just uh, get a little bit more warmed up here. Try to get rid of our frostbite risk a bit more. Um, this was a big mistake. I was supposed to leave all this at the barn. Um, all right, well, we're just going to have to live with it for right now. Let's break some of these down for our eventual snow shelters. And I guess just in, take, in case I take a wolf attack in this early part, uh, while I'm still getting used to our boundaries... Let's go ahead and uh, craft some bandages. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and craft a couple in case I want to get rid of springs. Okay, so we're pretty warm. Um, not really happy going out there right now with all the frostbite risk. Let's uh, sleep for an hour. That'll give me a bunch of warmth back. And then... I think I'll go get that other rabbit, and we'll probably just call it a night in here. I don't think I'm even going to bother starting a fire to cook this rabbit meat up. Uh, we're going to have plenty of opportunities to do that. Um, let's see. Yeah, frostbite risk is pretty low. We'll heal it overnight. We do have a bunch of stuff to loot here, but to be honest, I might not even bother. Um, it's just not relevant to the challenge that I'm going to do here. And, you know, yes, of course, you could loot the whole region. You could get all the cloth and the metal, and you could wear clothes and survive for thousands of days, probably, to be honest. Uh, but we're going to skip past all that. And just go to the end game where you have nothing. Nothing except for renewables. Alright, let's see if we can sneak up on this rabbit and... Uh, kind of want him to stop because this is a pretty long shot, but... He's kind of traveling away from me now. That'll probably hit him. All right, let's get this rabbit inside before we uh, attract more wolves. <sighs> and you know what I can do? Let's see, that's 39 minutes by hand. Um, all right, let's get this gut off of here first. You know what? It's just not worth it to harvest the rabbit meat right now. Um, it's too easy to just get food in the form of, uh, loot, like from the 
community center over here. So I'm just going to go do that. I only need, need enough food to last us for these first uh, three to four days um, until the guts are cured and we can switch to the second part of the challenge. So yeah, I'm going to be ignoring most of the loot in here too. I'll grab this water just so I don't have to start a fire anytime soon. Now in here, uh, this is not as warm as the house, and this bed also doesn't have as big of a bonus. Um, I guess I'll just wear these for right now. They're probably a big improvement. Uh, not really, 0.7 to 0.8, because these aren't in very good condition. Just drop those. I wouldn't mind finding a little more clothing right now, uh, just to make this setup phase a little bit easier. Um... I'm going to leave my cooking pots here for right now. I could use this for water production, but I don't know how um, much I'm going to care about that long term. Right, let's just keep one can on me in case I need it for some reason. Uh, it's more likely that I'll just be cooking on the fire barrel outside. Since that's where my snow shelter will be and we'll be fighting cabin fever risk. Um... We're going to need to start the fire outside anyway because of the we're only going to be using the mag lens. Perfect. All right, that's another can and more calories for me. Alright, so I think what I'll do is spend the rest of the evening, um, once we get warmed up, we'll go on one more stick run, and then I'm going to sleep the night. And then tomorrow we should be able to build one of our snow shelters. Thank you. We're not going to find anything in here that I need for this challenge. Uh, this is just to get a few extra calories. Just to make this earlier part a little bit smoother. Alright, let me think about this. Um, it's pretty dark in here. There's no reason why I can't sleep in here. It's going to stay at constant zero with my current clothing. And then, so we'll be at five. So I can just come back in here to sleep if it's too dark to see in the other house. Plenty of light out here. Um, let's see. Frostbite risk. We're fine right now. So let's head over here. This is going to be uh, one of the areas that we're going to be periodically coming to. There's a wolf and a bear on the other side of the bridge there. Um, but this is a perfectly safe area. As far as I know. We'll, uh, we'll see if I learn something new. For us to just come and harvest sticks. Um... So, you know, periodically when the winds blow these down, we'll be coming over here to harvest. Um, and there's actually, it's pretty safe. I know that wolves spawn pretty far over that way. Um, but as long as we hug this wall, we can actually go all the way back to, um, there's a cave and a rabbit grove back there. So we can uh, pretty safely come out here and harvest all of these sticks periodically. And... Um, if we can carry a torch back there, Jesus, this is cold. or just uh, start a fire back there with the mag lens, then we can occasionally um, harvest rabbits back there and leave the guts to cure in the um, in the back of that cave. So that's a uh, potential additional source of rabbits. We could even set up snares there if um, if it's feasible to go there frequently. Now I'm just taking a look around here, so. This is probably about as far as I'd want to travel out. Yeah, there's a wolf right there. Um, about Freezing. basically level with where that tree is. So that wolf, I think, can uh, hang around here too. So I basically never want to go further than like just this hill here. Um, all right, let's go and get a few more sticks. And then I'm going to head in since we're taking cold damage. Don't want to get... Uh, 
Well, I don't want to get frostbite, but I also don't want to take more damage than I can heal tonight. So let's see if there's still enough light to get to the bed in here. Uh, maybe. I'm going to go ahead and loot this in the dark. Since I can see... Um, where the window is. <sighs> Typical interloper looting experience here. Thank you. Oh, that's nice. All right, I'm just gonna throw any food in here that. Um, yeah, this can cause food poisoning. This can theoretically cause food poisoning. It's just not worth it. All right, um, let's see. I should be able to just use these windows to navigate back to the bedroom. I think the bed is, like, right behind me here. Or I can just, uh, yeah, there's two windows in here and another one in the, yeah. So, except for, I think there's a very brief period of night where the windows don't provide light. Um, it's really easy to find my way in here to get this. Um, that's important because we have no renewable source of lantern fuel. Um... And so whenever we don't have a fire going, so we can have a torch in here, um, we're going to have no light sources at night. Um, all right. We could um, maybe kill a little more time. I'm trying to think, is there... There's nothing really that I need to work on. Okay, well, let's just eat and sleep. Um... Actually, I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to just uh, pass time for a little bit because it's going to be too cold when we wake up anyway. Let's just uh, kill two hours. Once we get thirsty, I'll cancel this. Okay. Let's go ahead and eat. Um, let's eat this first. That's salty. I think this plus this and then um, a cat tail or two should give me enough calories to get through the night. See, 743, close enough. Um, save the sodas for later. All right, let's get our 10 hours of sleep. Another Aurora. It's actually two in a row, which is uh, seems unusual for Interloper. Uh, not that unusual for no Goa, which is uh, what I did in the challenge before this one. All right, so uh, next time we'll have to remember to drink those sodas. All right, so we still have uh, plenty of calories and stuff. We got, um, let's see, two more guts here. Let's see, I already got that other rabbit. Um, maybe what I can do is... Do I still have all that wood on me. Yeah, so we could go get um, two more rabbits on the way back to the barn. Let's see, there should be some sticks around here, I think. There we go. This is a uh, stick spawn point. And I'm actually going to leave some ingredients for snow shelters. One of our snow shelters is going to go... Actually... Hmm. Yeah. One of our snow shelters is going to go over here next to this. So let's just drop... Uh, I'm actually just going to drop all these sticks here. Okay, so I still got that one piece of rabbit meat back there that I'll have to remember to cook up. And I'm going to go the long way around. There's no reason to risk um, getting near those wolves. Gotta warm up somehow. Yeah, so there's like one wolf that spawns over there. So as long as you give him a wide berth, pretty sure, you know, we'll see as I play this out. But pretty sure that none of this area can give you a problem if you're not carrying scent. 
So this will be another area we'll come to to sort of refill on sticks over time. Some of these areas closer to our fire, we might even uh, break down some of the branches periodically. Um, more sticks down there. I think it's uh, safe basically as long as you stay on the side of the river. Uh, but you see we're getting very cold out here very quickly. But we don't even have a frostbite risk, even though we don't have um, header hand covering. So there are certainly times of the day when you can come out and explore with no clothing and not even get frostbite. Um, and if it happens to be sunny and you were able to have a fire and a warm drink, then you can actually stay out here for a long time without condition loss. Alright, this might be risky. I'm probably not supposed to come up here. Um, I'll get a better feel for exactly where everything is. Where's the bridge that we're going to be crossing? Yeah, it looks like the wolf spawn point is really far away. And actually, this is where we want to go because we want to follow this road. Yeah, the bridge should be right up here. Um, yeah, let's go try to get some rabbits. They should be... I saw them in here on the way in last time. Um, I'll grab a couple more cattails right now just for the tender. We'll grab some more rocks. I'm pretty sure that rocks are renewable in that they respawn in addition to, you know, when you throw a rock, you can typically retrieve it. So if we end up needing to use wolves uh, rocks to redirect wildlife uh, occasionally, as long as we're able to do it in a repeatable, 100% safe way, then uh, that'll be an option for us. It looks like the rabbits aren't here. Crossbite risk is uh, getting up there. I'm going to risk uh, coming up in here. So this is another area. This is kind of the final area. That I think will be part of our run. Is this uh, birch forest back here. Now I don't think that wolves spawn back here. But don't quote me on that. Uh, there is a bear, so I think typically exploring this in our, you know, late game 100% safe format is going to involve either coming here with a hot tea during a blizzard or, um, more likely, identifying exactly where the bear is, because he sometimes comes out there, and then keeping an eye on him while we come in here and explore. Uh, but this is one of the things that I need to learn is exactly what the wildlife spawns look like here in Interloper. There's actually a rabbit grove here, so I'm going to grab these rabbits to replace the other ones that I didn't end up being able to get. Yeah. Oh, he decided to move right when I threw. Yeah, so there will be sticks in here that we can get, but the main reason for coming back here is the birch bark. It's going to make it a lot easier to survive um, because of the renewable warming up buff in addition to the restore condition is huge. Um, all of that will just make it a lot easier to not get hit too hard by the cold and also recover some of the hits we take from the cold um, from all the time we're going to spend out without... Yeah, that's a high frostbite risk. I think we're going to call it right now. Now there's also a moose, I think, that can spawn in here. Um, I've never seen it. I know that sometimes, so like for each interloper run that you do, um, there are certain points that the moose can spawn in that change over time. Um, and so it might be for your run that there's no moose. And so if I were... Attempting this challenge for real, where I was actually trying to live for some insanely long period of time, I would probably restart until I got a playthrough where there was no moose there. Um, 
But for this one, you know, if we see the moose, we'll just be careful of it. Um, yeah, this seems like a really safe area. All right, let's get in the... Um, I don't even remember if I got those rabbits. I think I think I got at least one, right? Did I drop? I think I killed one and dropped it, and then I didn't pick it back up. I honestly don't remember. I was just um, talking and not paying attention. All right, well, uh, it's really cold. Our frostbite so risk cold. is really high. I just want to lay down for um, a bit. Let's see. Let's just sleep for like an hour. Bed warmth bonus. So I actually get... So it feels like two degrees, but then it's going to feel like five while I'm sleeping. I think that's how that works. Oh, wait. You know what? That's actually really useful if true. So if I am not wearing any clothing, then it feels like zero in here. But then if I sleep, I think I get this. Let's see. So I've... It's, um... Hmm. So my frostbite, my frostbite risk is really high. I don't want to pass an hour getting frostbite risk because I feel like I could get frostbite. So let's not do that. Um, but I think that deserves testing. Because that would actually be pretty nice if... Um, I could stay warm in here if I'm over here without a fire. Not that that's very smart, because it would be best to keep a fire going in here and then warm up a birch bark tea before heading home. All right, uh, let's head up the stairs here, and I'm going to leave all this reclaimed wood at our crafting area. I should have brought the guts over here. I guess I didn't know I was coming all this way. All right, so actually, I'm going to pick all this up. Just for long-term purposes, when we come to craft here, instead of going all over all that really janky stuff, we can just um, walk up here, and then we can just use the workbench from here. So I'm going to leave all my ingredients over here, all those guts, and all the reclaimed wood. All right, let's just go um, get warmed up a bit here. I'm going to sleep for a couple hours. Let's sleep for three hours. At this point, it's mostly awaiting. Simulator. Um, we're just gonna have to sit out these guts. In fact, I might start passing time soon. Um, I guess we might as well finish exploring the final locations that I'm gonna be in. Uh, let's see, what's the temperature? Negative three. I'll probably break down a couple more of these uh, crates while I'm here. My frostbite risk isn't going up while that happens. 38%. Let's go... Let's take this one down. Okay, so it's not changing at all uh, while I'm in here. <sighs> Go and drink water. Yeah, so we're going to have way more of this than we could possibly need. That's nice to know. All right, um, let's go back into the truck here, and now I'm going to do the test that I was too scared to do before. Take all my clothing off. It's a static temperature in the barn, and make sure everything's off. That should feel like zero. Hmm. Actually feels like negative one. Interesting. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe I forgot to take the... 
hands off last time. So this is at 38%. I'm just going to pass time in here for a little bit, losing uh, condition, and see if that goes up. Or losing temperature, I should say. Um, okay, so that doesn't seem to increase. So my temperature bar is, um, let's say, about 3 eighths, a little over. Um, I'm going to sleep for an hour and see if I get this boost and it actually warms me up. It looks like it did. This is all just uh, science for the future. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. If we ever need to use that, we actually have the ability to uh, warm up in here, even with uh, no, no clothes. Very useful. Alright, let's put all this back on. It's probably the uh, last temperature tests I'll do uh, before we get to the late game and take our clothes off permanently. Go ahead and search this. Could be a candy bar or something in there. All right, um, I think I'm ready to head back. Let's just um, grab this for more tinder. Let's go ahead and fully heal our frostbite risk. So probably about hmm. Unfortunately, I actually need to be tired to sleep. It looks like if I pass time through this menu, I get the bed warmth, maybe? Alright, I'm pretty warm. Uh, let's run back. Um, yeah, we're fine. And I think since I'm really tired, or since I'm not really tired at all, I think I'll start a fire back at the... Just checking to see. I want to know if there are ever predators here because obviously that would be really bad. Um, okay, so the bridge is just past this ruined structure. There are some things that I could do um, that you probably would if you were living out here for thousands. Like you would uh, mark all the trails that you were going to use with spray paint or rocks or tinder or sticks or you know cattail heads there's a lot of different options um sticks and the tinder you craft from them are completely renewable so you could mark as many trails as you wanted that way um but i'm probably not going to bother with that for the most part I picked up that spray paint from earlier just because I thought it might be nice to uh, mark a couple of things where there's a high chance of me getting lost. Grab a few more cattails while we're out here. Wonder if I just looked in the wrong place for those rabbits. Starting to feel numb. Now I'd probably never venture this far down here in the serious part of the run. Um because there's no reason to and there's probably wolves that spawn on the other side of the river so you don't want to invite even a one percent chance of something going poorly now this is the kind of weather situation where you would really want to have your trails marked like if it got really foggy here um and i couldn't see anything then I would want to have a trail marked to show me exactly where to go to get back. Um, as it is, I'm not too concerned about it. I can just go to the river and then follow the river back. Uh, frostbite risk is manageable. So let's go ahead and grab some more sticks from this area.
This is kind of walled off from the river back here, which is really nice. It makes it feel extremely safe. Um, yeah, there's not really much of a way for... I guess you can uh, travel down through there, but... The other side is pretty far away, so wolves would have to come from a long way off, and there's no reason they would do that unless they smelled guts or meat on me. Alright, let's get back before we get frostbite. Oh yeah, the uh, fog is really kicking in now. Should have nice warm weather for uh, building the snow shelter tonight. A ton of extra sticks here. This is really nice. Um, that's the river, so I guess we go up and around this way. Yeah, frostbite risk is fine. I don't think it's even increasing anymore. This is exactly the kind of time we're having trail markers all over the place, marking all the boundaries to make sure you don't wander into wolf territory. Plus, just, you know, if you lived out here for that long, you'd know all of this. Like, you'd be able to look at those rocks and tell exactly where you were relative to that, this house. I'd know exactly where to go from here to get to the church and so on. Now, all of this is reliant on me being correct that wolves do not come into here um, in their normal patrols, so I'm not going to be careful when I'm in this area. We're just going to accept that as fact. All right, let's go get inside. Um, pretty late. I think I'll uh, drink the sodas and maybe eat some of those cattails for dinner tonight. Um... Hmm, but we're not tired. Yeah, alright. Let's, um... Let's just go, um... Hmm. I don't really want to sleep. Let's pass time in here for a bit to get... my temperature back. And then I'm going to go start a fire and construct the snow shelters. Or at least one of them. Okay, so we're warm. I don't think I'm going to find anything in there except for clothing. Ooh, this is like the worst part of the night. It's very hard to see with the windows and everything. Okay, there's the door. Uh, once again, looks very spooky out here, but um, I'm going to rely on that not being... An issue. Now, ordinarily, of course, we wouldn't be going over here to start a fire unless it was a sunny day, because we'd be using the mag lens. But I'll use a few matches just in this uh, setup phase. Like I said, the wolves spawn on the other side of the river, so um, they're not going to come up here of their own accord. Uh, maybe we can crouch while we do our stuff here, just to make sure that they don't come over here. All right, we're going to use matches... Um, you know what? Just to make sure we don't waste a match. Go ahead and use this trick. So this, um, fire barrel is completely sheltered. So, no matter how bad of a storm rolls through here. Come on, as fire. long as you've got fuel on here and it's hot enough... Perfect. 
Um, yeah, you'll be uh, completely safe here. All right, so let's just go and use the coal. Um, just gonna throw a bunch of stuff on here. This stuff is all non-renewable anyway, so I don't really need it. Um, I guess I could have saved a few books for future fire starting attempts. Um, probably enough of that. Let's go ahead and um, ditch this. Go and make some more water. Okay, now this uh, snow shelter, as you can see, I can get it really close to the fire right here. Um, you know what? Maybe I'll do that. I'm just trying to think. Um, there's some small benefit to being able to operate the fire from within the snow shelter, but I think I'm not even going to worry about that. It's kind of annoying to do, so yeah, I think I'm just going to build it here. All right, 45 minutes. We should be fine. Wait a minute. That's... What the heck happened with this? I've never seen that before. That's a weird-looking snow shelter. What happens if I get inside it? It looks normal from in here. And yeah, you can see I can... Uh, Interact with the fire barrel, but I can't really... I wonder what happens if I try to take a torch in here. Oh, I can actually have a, have a little torch in here with me. Pretty cute. Alright, so, um... Yeah, let's see if it looks normal once we get back out. Yeah, okay, so it was just looking really weird at first. Um... Alright, let's pick these up before they boil off. I'm gonna go ahead and cook some, um... Alright, let's uh, prep some birch bark. And we're actually coming up on the end of the episode here, so I'm just going to craft these, um, cook them up, and then we'll just uh, sleep for an hour or two. Or we'll uh, do something to trigger the end of the episode. I don't really need to... Um, I don't really need to sleep yet. So, uh, I guess I should just leave those cans there for now. Yeah, so let's just, um, oh yeah, also, um, I don't really want to do it right now in case I'm wrong, but I think you can walk right over this because it's a, um, it's not a campfire. I think you can just walk right on top of it and not get burns. Uh, let's just kill a little bit of time breaking this down. A little bit of extra wood for our snare farm later. And then um, I'll just take a torch with me. We'll go over to the house and use that as a save point. In the next episode, um, I'll probably get the second snow shelter built. I think I want to have one right outside the door of that house. Uh, maybe we'll investigate some of these other structures here to see if any of them have the same warmth and bed bonuses. That house might. That's a pretty decent house. Um... That would be nice to have it a little closer to our other set up there. Not that it really matters. And actually, if that house is good, I might just only keep one snow shelter going. Uh, right, we're not sleeping anyway. We can uh, take that over and cook it later. All right, so I'll use that save point for the end of the episode. Um, it looks like we're going to have maybe uh, next episode. I'll probably just pass time to get the all the guts cured up. And then we'll go craft the snares. And once the snares are crafted... Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and switch over to long-term mode. Uh, we're just going to try to live as though we're on day 10,000. Uh, we'll take all our clothes off. We'll stop, you know, we'll drop anything that's not renewable, like um, cattails and cattail heads. We'll use only tinder crafted from sticks. Although, of course, once you get to fire starting level 3, you won't even need the tinder. Um, we'll get rid of all of our tools. We'll be, tra um, we'll be traveling very light, and from there on out, it'll be mostly, um, you know, gathering sticks, snaring rabbits, getting birch bark, um, harvesting and crafting more snares, and harvesting the meat and the guts off the rabbits, 
Um, just for the food and the snares. So we'll see how it pans out. Uh, so far it looks like it's going to go really well. I haven't seen any predators encroaching on my preferred territory here. So I have high hopes for this. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching.